As the drama of Diamond Dam Bailey continues to drag out more Ds, more alliteration. So the Viking season may rely on this guy. This guy. Uh, get to know Tristan Viscayeno, the only other kicker on the Vikings rooster. He is on the practice squad. Uh, let's talk about him today. So background, 24 years young, 6'2", 202, uh, former three-star uh, kicker, punter, recruit out of Damien High School in Laverne, California. Now, Laverne, northeast L.A., kind of near Pomona and Rancho Cucamonga. And it's also right near San Dimas High School football rules. Woo! From Bill and Ted, as well as a uh, great song by the Tars. That name. There you go. Also, Aha. So he was a wide receiver in high school. Uh, he put up 33 catches, 382 yards, and four touchdowns his senior season for the Damian Spartans. And like we said, he's 6'2". Uh, uh, Damian Spartans should be the Damian Devils, but nah. uh, But hey, may maybe this is the new Taysom Hill. Just a hybrid kicker, wide receiver, kick returner. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. But he took his talents to Washington. Uh, was teammates with Jake Browning. Back in the day. Uh, mainly handled kickoff duties his first two years. Uh, had an absolutely solid leg. Uh, actually, he kicked a 96-yard kickoff uh, with his kicking coach in 2016. So, cool. Uh, punted as a junior uh, 51 times for a 40.7 average, which was good for eighth in the conference, which... It's not good. Uh, senior year 2017, uh, he made 48 to 51 uh, point afters. But remember, those are the short ones in college, not the modern NFL ones. Also, was 20 uh, was 12 of 19 on field goals. Did kick a game winner against Utah. Woo! That's a cow. Was dra undrafted in 2018. Durr did have uh, a mini camp tryout with the Jets, where he hit a 61 yard field goal, which. You know, uh, was out of football for a year, uh, ended up in camp with the Bengals in 2019, and then he kicked a 57-yarder in preseason versus Washington. So the dude has leg for days, but accuracy, yeah. Overall, in preseason, he ended up 4 of 7 on field goals, as well as 3 for 3 on point afters. Um, so question, what does Tristan Vizcaino bring to the table? Well, he's not Dan Bailey. Cool. And like we mentioned, monster leg. I think that certainly could help. Because remember, Dan Bailey's inability to kick it out of the back of the end zone was why Cordero ran one back the first time that the Vikings played the Bears. And with Cordero coming up again, yeah, kind of big deal. Uh, also, he's not Dan Bailey. Working in, work in progress in terms of accuracy. Now, with kickers, well... A, you definitely want a guy who can just make the kick, but also if you're working on a guy who has accuracy but no leg strength as opposed to a guy with leg strength but no accuracy, uh, Coach was a much prefer the latter because you can work with that one. Like you, uh, It's extremely difficult to add strength uh, to a, a guy's leg, but you can work on technique. You can work on approach. You can work on chemistry. You can work on accuracy. So that's where uh, Vizcaino is at the moment. Uh, he's not Dan Bailey. Also, plus he he can punt. So just shuddered having memories of Corey Vidvik. So it's whatever. But uh, what the Vikings could do, and I actually think that this uh, could potentially be their course of action because if they were just going to cut Dan Bailey, they probably would have already done it. Uh, but also, uh, like we talked about this morning, you have to factor in the financial ramifications. The Vikings would have to carry $2.1 million dead against the cap uh, in 20. Now, is that better than paying him a $2.7 million base salary, which 1.8 is uh, guaranteed on the third day of the new league year? Yes, probably. Uh, but also, uh, they may be a little bit gun shy because of what happened with Daniel Carlson, where they just let him go and then he went somewhere else and he fixed it and he's phenomenal right now. And also, it would be embarrassing for the Vikings. Oh, hey, Dan Bailey, here's a big time contract. Oh, we're going to cut you before the first season is out, right? So, what they may do is what they did with Austin Cutting, uh, which is bench Dan Bailey for a game or two, elevate Vizcaino from the practice squad, see what the kid can do, kicking off, kicking field goals, or Hell, hell, maybe, hell, maybe they'll have them both active on game day. I don't know. Go the full college route. I, I, I don't know. But either way, they gotta do something because either Dan Bailey is shook mentally. Maybe it's a injury again, like ended uh, what ended his Dallas career. Uh, I don't know. But something is wrong with him, and maybe the Vikings have to give a shot to uh, Tristan Vizcaino, see what he can bring because the Vikings playoff hopes still there, but. The fact that Dan Bailey basically single-handedly cost the Vikings the game against the Buccaneers, well, him and the refs. Uh, and then also, he put that Jacksonville game in jeopardy by missing three kicks in that game as well that went into overtime. Can't trust him. Can't do it. Can't do anything. So, sniff out what you got with Tristan Vizcaino, the kid with the monster leg, Legatron 2, Electric Boogaloo. Let's go. Let's go. But your thoughts. Tristan Vizcaino? Sure. I mean, We've hit the... 
hey, really getting excited about the practice squad kicker part of the season, but here we are. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull something the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.